Hi, I am retired Mass Sergeant Lori Rhodes, um, and I'm here to tell you a little story about um, a test of my motherhood and of my womanhood. I um, was in the military for 32 years, retired in 2016, but the biggest test for me was when I had to go on deployments. I have four combat tours. My first tour was in 2003 to 2004. I um, was one of the senior NCOs, um, so I was one of the older females or one of the senior ranking females that was on, this, on the tour, on the deployment. And at the time, my youngest um, was eight months old. So the day that we went to Mobile Station, like I said, she was about eight months old. So, and the day we flew out to Kuwait and Iraq, she turned one. Um, we flew on her birthday. So here I am leaving an eight month old, um, a three year old that has a special, special gifts and then a teenager. So I, I missed all her first steps, her first words. I missed all of her first, pretty much. Um, and I had a lot of young moms with me, a lot of young soldiers that also had small children. So they looked at me. And so as long as I was strong and yeah, I, I miss my kids like a nobody. And I had my moments where I cried, but I also did it alone and by myself. That way, my younger soldiers, my younger um female soldiers could see that they could get through, you know, that, that ache, that yearning to be home with their, their babies. So, um, that was in 0304. I came back home about 15 months later. I got home the day, be the day before her second birthday. So, and then I deployed in 08 to 09, 10 to 11 and 12 to 13, um, uh, missing a lot of my, my kids, um, times and stuff like that. But I, I kept telling myself that I am doing this so they don't have to. Um, I was trying to take care of them the best way I could. I didn't want them to have to um, have to, to leave their families and to go through what um, I was going through because it was not easy. It wasn't easy coming home as a mom. You know, as, as a mom, you come home and your kids, they, they want to be around you. They want to be, you know, right next to you and stuff like that. And there was a lot of times that I felt anxious and anxiety. And I had to have talks with them that was heartbreaking to tell them that, hey, just give mom a little bit of time because I've been by myself for, for the last year and stuff like that and no one around me. And so it it just had to be adjustment for all of us. And um, I think that my kids... Oh, of course, they're my biggest supporters, and they went through a lot. Um, and without without them and my faith and my belief and and just knowing that I was doing what I was doing for them, I don't I don't know if I could have done it for as long as I did it. And I don't know if I could have. Um, yeah, I I don't know how I got how I would have got through it without them and without um, their support and their love. So. That was my, my biggest test uh, to this day of being a mom and, and being a soldier and being a woman. So, thanks.